welcome to the very first video of Hermes 2020. I don't have my 2020 merch yet, so I'm wearing my Hermes 2019 merch, which is in my merch shop if you guys want to check out the 2019 or 2020 designs, that will be linked below. Anyway, tonight is the first, 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 first video of Hermes 2020. I'm so excited. So what better way to get started than with a reptile gift guide, a reptile keeper gift guide. So I've done this video the last two years and so I'm going to try to see some different things this year because I don't want to just repeat everything that I said last year. There's so many different gifts you can give to reptile keepers. So I'm trying to, some of the things might still be the same, slightly different. I'm also not doing a herpetology gift guide this year, that's my shop where I sell um, decor and gifts directed towards reptile moms. I'm not going to do a video specifically for that, so I will mention some herpetology stuff in this video. But without further ado, let's get started. So I guess since we're just talking about herpetology, we'll start with herpetology stuff. So these are just a couple examples of what you can find in my shop. I don't currently have any tong jars like this in my shop right now. A lot of people are buying them. I love how they look at when they're done. I love that people love them, but they are so much work to make. And I was just getting drained with how many people were buying tong jars. So I had to pull them from the shop. And I do have a couple in there right now. I have some big ones like this, but the top is clear and the bottom is painted with this colors. And then I have tongs on it. And I have some smaller ones that are like little milk jars that are gold dipped that say tongs on them. So there are still tong jar options in the shop, just not these exact ones. And this is a bee pollen jar. Mine is empty right now, I need to refill it. But I have several supplement jars in my shop. I have multivitamin, um, calcium with D3, calcium without D3, bee pollen. I also do sell bee pollen with them if you would like that. I think it's like an extra $2 or something. Um, and then I have lots of signs, tons of decals for your car, some tank decals. So pretty much everything you could ever want to give a female reptile keeper, or even a guy. There are stuff, there's stuff in there that's good for guys as well. So pretty much anything you could ever imagine to give a reptile keeper, I have in my shop. Um, reusable gift or reusable uh, shopping bags, drawstring bags, um, kitchen towels, um, and a lot of stuff. I have options, and you can pick your option and then slap it on. Tons of signs. I think I already said that, but like lots of signs. Um, yeah, so just lots and lots of stuff. You really have to go look. So I will link my shop in the description below so you guys can head over to Etsy and check it out. But moving right along. This little doohickey is so awesome. Last year, and actually probably the last two years for my gift guide, I said a temperature laser pointer gun thing. So on this little gun, so it points a laser and it tells you the temperature of whatever you're pointing the laser at. Those are great gifts, but I've said those the last two years. So time for something different. This here is like the laser gun, but it tells you humidity. This thing is awesome. It also tells you temperature on it too. So all you do is you turn it on. Turn, turn, oh, power's down here. Turn it on. And then you can see what the humidity is, what the temperature is. So the sensor is in this little part up here. So when I'm trying to see like the humidity in my enclosures, I just turn it on and set it in my enclosure and just come back to it in a couple minutes and see what it's at. So this thing is super, super awesome because, because I mean, it's so easy to use a temperature gun to find out the temperature. A little more difficult for humidity. So boom, humidity gun. So it's this is the HTI HT86 humidity meter. I did get this right on Amazon. I'll be making an Amazon reptile gift guide. So pretty much anything that I mentioned in this video that you can get on Amazon, I'll put in that gift guide and link it below. Um, it will be an affiliate link or an associate link. So when you click that link, if you buy stuff, after you click that link, um, I will get a little commission from it. So it just helps me out in the holiday season helps you out because there's a gift guide for reptile keepers all set right on Amazon. All you gotta do is click the buy button and 
your work is done for you. Okay, up next is something personal. A personal piece of art for your um, reptile keeper. So a personal piece of one of their pets or of them with their pets. So for example, this is a piece that was done of Arcadius. This was done by Super Awesome Artist. She was by Asteria Reptiles and she is on Instagram. So I will put her name in the description below if you want to check out her Instagram. I don't know if her commissions are open yet or not, or open currently or not, but you can at least check out her work because she does awesome work. I mean, look at that. Look at how handsome my boy is. Um, another example, because you see a lot of digital illustration stuff, a lot of painting, something you don't see very often is wood burning. So this was actually done by one of my friends who was my coworker when I worked at the zoo. He does wood burning and so he, offered to send me something um, we did a little swap on TikTok, so he sent me a wood burning and I sent him some decals and sign for his animals so it's got my name down there and Arcadius up there and so this is just something really cool really personal and I love it so you can find stuff like that on Etsy I love Etsy I've been shopping mostly Etsy this year trying to buy from small shops to support them this year um, because I know how it feels when I get a purchase, like when my phone goes to ching and I go, oh my gosh, I just made a sale. Like, I love that feeling. So I like to be able to do that for other people as well. So I've been trying to shop small this year. But like I said, Amazon links will be below. But anything artsy, totally recommend because you're supporting an artist and that's really awesome. And something additional this year, some of you that have been around may know that I do a degree in um, digital media art, specifically graphic design. And I've been wanting an iPad like for years and years and years and I finally saved up the money to get one so I do have an art business now called Iggy illustrations I do pet portraits and people portraits and people and pet portraits you name it so I'll show you just a couple examples that I have done there we go so you guys may recognize her this is Mary from Marion crew she does have a YouTube that's her beautiful little boy Capitan um, so this is my favorite piece that I have done probably so there's an example of Someone with a dog. This is another one that I just finished for my college friend for her birthday Of her little little puppy she got This is one I did as a gift for my friend Jordan from JJ's reptiles of her two iguanas Give it to her for a birthday So those are some people ones. I also do just animals. I do couples so I'll just show you a couple more just so you can see a wide range of all my work. And then just to show you guys one without any reptiles in it. This is just a couple portrait that I did. This is a crested gecko piece that I did for someone that won a giveaway that I collabed with. So again, you can find all my prices. My commissions are open right now, so you can find all my prices and everything on Icky Illustrations, either on Facebook or on Instagram. Um, I will link probably Instagram below so you guys can check out my work, see my commission prices. I did drop them drastically um, coming into the holiday season to make them more affordable for people that wanted to get someone a nice personalized gift. So bouncing off of that idea is just art in general. There are tons of reptile artists out there. Some of my favorites are B. Steiner, um, Cat Scales. I think her name's pronounced Adeline Robinson. Um, she is one of my favorites. If you look over here, I've got tons of her artwork. Tons of it, it's all her artwork. So I have a piece from Cat Scales here to show you guys. I don't know if you can tell, but there's some like shimmery on there. Um, so I actually have like two or three pieces from her now, and they're so cute. I what I really love about her art is that it's like all super colorful and just fun. So I will link her Etsy shop in the description as well, so you can go check out her art, as well as the two other ones I mentioned, B. Steiner and Adeline Robinson. So kind of still bouncing off of that is supporting artists on Redbubble or merch. So if you know that they watch YouTube and you know who they like to watch, you can buy them a merch from that person. So like I have a merch shop that has almost all of my animals in it now. 
Um, it's got, I've got a couple iguana or tegu gear designs. Um, so some that say like, I like big lizards and I cannot lie on the front. And then a girl walking a tegu or walking an iguana on the back. Probably one of my favorite ones I've done. Because if you guys know me, you know I love, love, love big lizards. So just to show an example, I've got this little camping mug with Arcadius on it. So even if you didn't do like merch directly, if you went on like Red Bubble and you searched for a specific animal they really like. So for example, if you searched iguana and you found like a mug with an iguana on it that was really pretty, really cute that you think they'd like, then boom, you're supporting an artist. They've got a really cool, unique gift with a reptile on it. So I do also have a Red Bubble. I think that's always linked in the description of my videos. Um, but really if you just go to Redbubble and you search leopard gecko, crested gecko, ball python, there are tons and tons and tons of artists out there that have stuff for those animals. Okay, now I have to go to my list because all my physical things are gone and I don't remember what else I had on here. Okay, so gift cards are kind of the obvious, the given. Um, if you don't know anything about reptiles, you don't know what they watch on YouTube or anything, it can be really hard to shop for someone that has reptiles and the easiest thing you can do is buy gift cards so that they can shop for themselves. So a good size to get gift cards for, um, Pangea Reptiles, I believe they have gift cards but they kind of, they have like lots of stuff. Um, Josh's Frogs is a big one, every reptile keeper shops from Josh's Frogs so Josh's Frogs gift cards, you can't go wrong with them. Um, I don't know what other suppliers have gift cards. I know DubiaRoctus.com doesn't have gift cards, but hey, if you want to hand them money to spend at DubiaRoctus.com so they can get themselves some bugs, then great. Amazon gift cards because you can buy anything on Amazon. Okay, moving on. I think we're getting down there. Um, <laughs> substrate. If you know what kind of substrate they use, substrate can get costly when you have to keep changing it and buying more. Make it easy, just buy them some substrate, then they don't have to go shopping one time. So like on my Christmas list, I put Reptichet. I just bought a huge like breeder block of Reptichet. But I put another one on my Christmas list, that way when I'm all out and I need more, I already have more and I don't have to go buy it. Plants. Now of course this is an individual person type of thing, but what I have noticed from the years I have spent in the reptile hobby, most of us love plants. We may not all be capable of keeping plants alive, like I'm certainly not, but we all love plants. So you can never really go wrong with a plant. Bouncing off of that are air plants. It can be difficult to buy plants for someone's enclosure. Maybe naturalistic isn't the way they want to go. You have to know which plants are toxic and non-toxic. You have to know what plants do well in one environment. Air plants are a pretty easy, simple plant. They are really easy to add to pretty much any enclosure to make them look a little more natural. All they need is to be sprayed down or occasionally soaked for a little bit. They're so easy to take care of. I say that as I've killed several, but they are a cute little nice addition to any enclosure and they're not a lot of work. They don't need to be planted. so. If you want to get someone plants for their enclosures, I highly recommend air plants. Okay, we have three things left. So I'm going to pull the camera off the tripod because we're going to take a little adventure around the room to see these last three things. Okay, so the next thing I recommend is a misting system. If you know that your reptile keeper is constantly spraying down enclosures every day, like if they have chameleons or crested geckos or water dragons or anything that requires to be, them to be misted down every day, a really big misting system is awesome because you don't have to refill it that often. As you can see, I have to refill mine now. But this is the Oibo, Oibo, Oibo. Um, it comes with air moat, which I clearly haven't used because it's still in the packaging. But it's super awesome because it has this big on-off switch. It comes with lots of tubing and connectors. So I actually have this one going between my cubanite anole enclosure and my water dragon enclosure. And it's got a timer. You can change how hard you want the water to be coming out. We'll come over to this side. The duration for how long it sprays. So this thing is just super awesome. I know a lot of people have the Mist King. 
I have the Mist King. I haven't set it up because it seems really complicated. But I, I love, love, love this mister. Highly recommend it. So I will obviously have this in the Amazon um, gift guide that I'm linking below because this thing is amazing. Okay, moving on over here. This bad boy. This is my catchy. Highly recommend. I would die without this thing. So I'll pull it down so you can see. So what this is, it's great for someone that has bioactive enclosures because if you have bioactives, you know you get fungus gnats, fruit flies, whatever you want to call them, and they're so obnoxious and so bad. This thing takes care of them, no problem. I don't know if you guys can see in there. It is gross how many fruit flies or fungus gnats, whatever, are in there. But this thing works amazingly. I would not give this up for the world. Every reptile keeper needs one of these. An absolute must. When I do my reptile keeper must haves, when I do my reptile keeper must haves video, this, this right here, this will be the main thing. Let's put this up back up here. And that just came from Amazon as well, so that will be in the gift guide to make it real easy for you to find. Okay, and lastly are paintings, animal paintings, paintings done by animals. If you've been around in my enclosure for a little while, you know I'm obsessed with animal paintings. I mean, I have a whole tree that is only animal painted ornaments. Make sure to subscribe so you can get a tour of that tree, because I do have new ornaments coming in soon. Okay, back to this. So, what reptile keeper wouldn't love a painting done by some sort of reptile? So like this one is a little American alligator. This one was done by the crocodile, the famous crocodile named Casper down in Florida with Chris and Gabby. A lot of you probably seen them on Instagram. So, so awesome. If someone gifted me one of these for Christmas, I would probably cry, especially that one. But I love animal paintings. Animal paintings make the best gift for animal lovers. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me for day one of Herpmas. So exciting. If you have other ideas for reptile keepers, leave them in the comments below so anyone looking and trying to get ideas can get additional ideas besides what I mentioned. Give this video, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you thought the ideas were pretty good. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss the rest of Herpmas. And we'll see you for Herpmas video number two. Bye!